Hello everyone, it's Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm here today to show you guys how to make these cute belly bands using the envelopes that you get in the mail. Um, we're going to use that and inside it has this cute little journaling card that pulls out. Isn't that just cute? I need to put um, some gesso over top of that so it's not so shiny but it's super duper cute and it slides right in there. And then what you do, so let me show you guys real quick is you would just glue this down to your page. But the first rule of thumb is you wanna make sure your envelope is the right size for your page because I made this and it's super big. So what we're gonna start off with is a Meller envelope. And we're gonna make sure that it fits to a page that we would use in a junk journal. And all my junk journals are the same size so I just want to look, and it's a hair bit um, bigger than what I would use. And I don't know where a my pencil went to. There again, I'm not organized like I should be. So I'm just going to mark it real quick, okay, and put that back. And now I know where I'm going to cut that at. So let me put this back in there, take this off. So next, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut that little bottom piece off and hopefully this cutter will cut it it's finicky there we go and then we're going to cut our edge depending on what size you want to use if you're going to put it on your right side of your page you're going to want to cut the right side if you're wanting to put it on your left side of your page you're going to cut the left side okay and we're just going to cut this thing off right there so we don't need to really cut very much off of it Ah, this thing is a headache. I love my other cutter. Just too big to put on my table. Okay. So what you should be left with is this. And you're going to have the bottom piece that we're also going to cut. So, let me grab my scissors. And I'm just going to cut that with my scissors because we just need to... Cut just a little bit off and it should open up like this and the reason we are doing that is so we can um, put something on the inside so that doesn't show through the back so I have my piece that I'm gonna put on the inside picked out I'm going to go with some vintage script and I like it because the 1918 shows through so I really like that so I'm gonna use that it doesn't need to be so big so I'm just gonna Cut that off right there, save that for another piece, and go ahead and glue that down now. And then it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to decorate the front, and then we're going to glue the top and the bottom, and there you have it. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, that's how you make it. <laughs> no need to suffer through the video watching me. Um, that's how you do it. It's not much to it. And that fits perfect. Literally anyone can make one of these. There's not much to it. Okay. I need to clean my glass board, don't I? So I decided to use this paper. I was going to go with the vintage look, but I decided to try something a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut the piece of paper off first because you gotta cut the window out. If you don't want a window, you can skip all of these steps. That wasn't straight. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and cut this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have that cut, and it fits perfectly. So then what I did was I cut out a little, um, for my last one, kind of a reference piece. Um, all I did was I put a piece of paper down, I drew it, and then I cut it out so it can help me know where my window's at for this one. So what I do is I lay my piece of paper down, and I make sure it's good and straight. 
And then I need to stand up for this. I tried to fill. Let me see. It's hard to get it straight where the window is. And sometimes that's really hard to do. So it looks like, you might see my big head. The top of the window is right there. And since every window is different, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I just drew this line because my last one was larger than this one. And lay it down. And then I want to make sure my corner's lined up. It is. So I'm just going to draw around that. where I believe my window is hopefully it is there and then what I do is I'm going to get my cutting mat you can do this with scissors but I just decided to do it with an exacto knife I'm gonna stand up for this too so I can get it straight if I sit down I'll never get it straight I would pause the video for this and do it, but I thought you guys might want to see how I do it. So there we have it. Now what we do is we cross our fingers and pray to God that it lines up and that there ain't no white showing from the background. So we're going to see. And I think we did a pretty good job. Um, I need to erase some of my pencil marks. You did a pretty good job. There is a little bit of white showing right there, but if there is white showing, this is how you fix it. Some ink, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and ink around my edges real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that down. So now we can glue this down. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on it. And I am a very messy gluer. If you haven't already been able to tell that by watching my videos. That's why I got my glass mat. That is what is amazing about it. I like my stuff to stick down really well, so I use a lot of glue. I do not hold back any. Okay. So now we're going to lay this down. Gotta keep remembering that mine's opening on this side. I'm so used to it opening on that side. Okay, now we just decorate it pretty much and make the journaling card that goes inside of it. And this was my thoughts. You guys can tell me what you guys think. Well, you can't really tell me what you think, but you can tell me what you think in the comments. This. That was my thoughts on decorating it. So it's nothing real fancy, but it's pretty and cute. And I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to think too much about it. Keep it simple. If I can get my sticker off, there we go. Without getting glue all over it and messing it up. I'm going to stand up for this too. Make sure I position it properly. <sighs> That's pretty. 
I wish I would have cut that little piece off right there, but that's all right. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like that. Let me show you guys closer. It's not pretty. Looks like it's just part of the page. It's really pretty. Okay, then I have the butterfly. And what do you guys think about the saying up there? I mean, I don't know. Without it, it looks kind of... What do you guys think? I don't know. I kind of like it without it. I just think there's something about the simplicity of not having that on there. Maybe put some cheesecloth behind the butterfly. Let's see. I don't know. I kind of... Let me see. I actually think that I just like it by itself. I'm a... Uh, I need to... I'm about out of my coffee stained cheesecloth. I really need to dye some tomorrow, I think. If I have time, I might put that on my to-do list. I should really be in there sorting lace from today's lace sale. But I decided to take a little time to make a video for you guys. What do you guys think? I like it. And I wonder if putting a button on the bottom would be too much. Probably. Let's see. With a little bit of lace. Or cheesecloth, not lace. Let's see. I like it. This is what I think I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to keep it simple. And this is what I'm going with. And then after this, I'll show you guys what are we at? 12 minutes. I got time to make the journaling card. I'll show you guys how I make the journaling card after we finish this. I think it's about time to put some alcohol in my glue to thin it out. it's not it's not one to come out very well there we go it comes out fine it just takes forever to and then raise these up to come down it's so pretty and I just love buttons I could put buttons on everything I just think they're cute. There, that levels it out. We've got something up here, something down there. It levels it out. What do you guys think about it? I think it's cute. Okay, so now we're just going to put a bead of glue across the top and a bead of glue across the bottom. Or you could sew it however you prefer to close it up. And then we need to make our journaling card. So on my last one, what I did, which just I don't think it's going to work on this one. Because I just stuck a piece of paper in there. And it slipped in. But this isn't going to work for this. It's going to be just a little bit too tall. So I'm going to get my cutter. There we go. I think that's good. It sure is. And then I'm just going to, oopsie, draw a line down where it needs to be cut. And it doesn't look like that's straight for some reason. I don't know. I don't understand how that happened. But cut that. Let me see. That's right. I might not have had it in there all the way. No, that's right. Okay. And then we just got to decorate this. Okay. I paused the video for a second so I could figure out how I was going to do this. Um, I think I'm just going to keep this one simple as well. I'm going to show you guys what I thought about doing. But I just decided to put some music paper on the front. And then 
we're going to put some um, coffee stained paper on the back so they can journal on it. And then I'm just going to stick a rose on it. And we're going to keep it very, very simple. Let me see. Very simple. So, but it's very pretty. So I'll show you. Go ahead and glue this on real quick. So I only got to cut once. Craft smarter, not harder, right? Well, that probably wasn't very smart because then I'm not going to know where to cut. So I take that back. I say that wasn't very smart on my behalf, was it? <laughs> the what was I thinking? I obviously wasn't thinking. Okay. There we go. Let me just do this. Try to line it up. If it will. I think it's a little bit crooked. There. I will sew around my journaling card. Um, just to make sure this paper stays stuck down and... Um, just to give it an extra look, you know. Because it's wanting to come up a little bit. And that isn't exactly straight. So I might just pull my cutter in and see if... I can cut that, but it probably, it probably won't. I'm not going to worry about it, actually. But it's not wanting to stay stuck down right there. And I always put a ton of tape on my stuff, or glue on my stuff, so I'm not sure why. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far, but we are getting ready to glam it up. I thought just putting a rose on it would be pretty. And I didn't really think that it needed anything else do that and then when it slides in you'll be able to see the rose through the picture and I am going to go cut that edge really quick just a little bit because it's hanging out okay I would have done that on camera but my cutter isn't over there it's over just right there but I have to get up from the camera so I didn't want to do that okay so I think that's where I wanted it. Let me see. Yeah, about right there. So I'm gonna cut that bottom sticker part off. And then we're just gonna stick this down. I don't really think that it needs anything else. I like the, uh, the authentic look of it. You know, I think it, I just like the look of it, the being raw. See if I can lay this down straight. Okay. That's always the hard part and tricky part. But I think I did it. Wasn't that pretty? Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'll be right back. Okay. I decided to go with the sloppy edge because I just, I like that look. Now what we're going to do is find a piece of lace or, um, What's it called? Ticking fabric or something to put on the edge to pull it out with. And I should have done that before I sewed it. That would have made more sense, but I didn't. Of course not. That's me for you. <laughs> so I'll take it back to the sewing machine and just sew over it. I think I'm just going to use that. I'm going to make sure I put it on the right side. That would be helpful, huh? Okay. Where do I want it sticking out at? Probably about right there. So you guys pretty much get the gist of how this is 
done. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I thought I made one like this before, but I can't find it. I have so many videos. I really need to go through them and remake some of them and delete the old ones. I just have too many, and I think when I get some time, I'm going to work on that. That's going to be one of my goals to work on for you guys, just to clean up the videos. Let's see. I wish that was a little bit darker. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Okay, I changed my mind on the lace. I went with the darker lace. Um just because I think it matches the journaling card better. Let me show you guys. And I like how it sticks out. It's cute. So this is it. And that's pretty much all up to it. Um, hopefully I chose some good lace. I have to be careful with it because it's antique lace and it's very fragile. But anyways, if it tears or something, I'll just replace it with something else. But I think it'll be good. I mean, we shouldn't be pulling on stuff anyway. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you did, make sure to like and comment on the video. That tremendously helps me out. Also, check out the description below as I have some information there for you guys. And I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening.